Hey guys, it's Tony W. We're gonna do a full review of the Red Tiger 4K Dual Dash camera. I just got this for my car. I wanted something new that actually has GPS and Wi-Fi, so I don't really have to take out the memory card every time I want to download some uh, images from my uh, dash cam. So we'll go over the pros and cons of installing the Red Tiger 4K dash cam on my car. So this is pretty neat. It does have a pretty nice size screen, so you guys should see it. It has a very wide view in terms of the front, uh, which is 4K, and the back, which is uh, 1080p. So the, you can also change the resolution for it's a little smaller in the front, but at the same time, I'm, you could have a max size of like 256 uh, gigs of, on the memory card. So I'm just leaving it full res. I'm putting in a 128 um, uh, mini SD card. As you can see, it's actually pretty nice in terms of the menu system. It has nice big buttons on the front and side, or more like the two sides to have it, and the memory card is right on the side as well. But you could actually blank out the screen and do other things. But we're not gonna go right into the menus, we're actually gonna go right into the quality and stuff. So this is a pretty nice camera. Again, one of the pros is that it's very easy to install. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing right now and what it has. In fact, it's very simple of what this thing has. It just has that main camera and display that's mounted on it. And of course, this has big buttons, so it's easy to uh, control. As you can see, there's a, um, a slot on the top, so you can slide in the GPS. It has built-in GPS and Wi-Fi, so it's cool. It has two uh, plastic sheets for, like, I guess, positioning uh, the adhesive. Now, one word of advice when I try this thing, the adhesive that I came with is not very strong. At least the one for the dash cam part is great, but for the rear camera, it comes with a pre-cut um, adhesive, and that adhesive is actually pretty weak. In fact, it came off when um, basically it was way too hot. So you want to basically take another piece of that 3M uh, adhesive that was meant for the front camera and place that on your um, rear camera's mount area. They also comes with little screws if you want, but the 3M adhesive that I came with actually works better with using that front extra piece that I gave you. So go ahead and use that piece instead of the, the other one. Plugging this guy in into my um, 12 volt power supply. I just want to test it before I even install this thing. So just make sure that everything works. So plugging into the, the the secondary backup camera, it actually goes into with a mini, really small uh, mini um, plug. And of course the power for this one actually goes to USB, from USB power, to, uh, 12 volt to USB power to the cam dash cam, which is fine. The menu system is very intuitive. It's pretty straightforward. It's basically up and down menu and a select in the center. The power menu actually goes back, which is okay. Overall, it gives a pretty good, it's a pretty good package because it does come with GPS and Wi-Fi, like I said, the three, the adhesive in the back for the mini cam wasn't really strong. I actually used 3M tape to uh, double stack it to be tape that I already has in the package and just cut it down to fit. So overall, it's pretty petite. You don't really see it uh, if you're not looking at it. As you can see, there is, um, I tried many ways to run the cable. The cable, if I ran along the bottom cable cable runs for my car, it's actually too short. So it's just about two feet shy of making it up to the license plate. So what I have to do is actually run it through um, the headliner of my driver's seat and then back onto the trunk and going over there. I like the fact that it actually has a disconnect. So you actually run the wire pretty quickly and easily. So that's a good thing about it. But I made a little bracket myself so that I could put it into my back window of my trunk. The trunk actually has a little window above the license plate, which just makes it fine. I really didn't want to leave um, the small, tiny little backup camera over outside and in, in the, even though it was all weather already, I didn't want to leave it outside. I just, so I just basically ran it through um, the rear window. So as you can see, I ran it through the side of the driver's and passenger seat um, headliner. And then I basically put double backy sticky tape that it had onto the little camera and my little bracket. So I pasted it onto the window right above my license plate. Otherwise you have to basically mount this above your license plate, which is how they kind of instruct you to do, which I didn't like. Overall, I love this camera. In fact, I'm using this now and the resolution is good. Resolution is good and it looks really well. Um, the plastic mounts, not really, it's kind of a con and, and I didn't like about it, but the, and also the rear cable could be longer. I do prefer running the cable along the, um, the power ca the cables along the car, along the floor. And since this is about two feet shy of that, that kind of sucked. But overall, the pros is outweighs the cons because the GPS and Wi-Fi makes it easy. To, once you turn this thing on, it turns on, records, and gets the right time and place of where you are. Anyways, guys, this is Tony W. I hope this review was helpful to you, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.